Nurse, we heard the code blue in NICU. It's not our grandchild, is it? I am afraid it is. <sighs> is Dr. Russell in there? No, but Dr. Andrews, the neonatologist, is in there with his team. I'm sure that they're doing everything that they can. In your mercy, save this little life that Kay and Miguel have created. Charity? What is it? I'm okay. Hey. It's me. <laughs> just thinking about us, Miguel. And I know that it's selfish, but I feel like we're not going to be a couple very much longer. I feel like you're having this baby with Kay will pull you towards her and away from me. Okay. Um, like I said, okay, I love my daughter so much more than I even thought possible. You know, and I, I'm gonna be there for her 150%. But she's not gonna come between us, Charity. Right? Not after everything we've been through to be together. Right? Nothing, right? Nobody is gonna come between us. Not even my baby with Kay. Code blue, neonatal ICU, code blue. The baby. Yeah, I'm fine. I just gotta get to the NICU. My baby could be dying. Well, she could be okay. We don't know if the code blue was for her. Well, I, got, I gotta find out. My baby could be in trouble. My baby. I have to get to my baby. Kay. Honey, you shouldn't be on your feet so soon after a C-section. Get back in the bed. Dr. Russell, they call a code blue in NICU. I have to go to my baby. She and Miguel might need me. God! What the hell? Is there something wrong with my baby? What does he tell me? It, 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 it's, 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 horrible. Hideous. It's grotesque. Could you be more specific? Tabitha, you, my God! What, what? Your baby has a tail! Oh, you, you, you! Don't you think it's time for you to face reality? I mean, Ethan is married to Gwen. They're going to have a baby together. For you to think that fate is going to bring you guys back together... ...is wishful thinking. I mean, it's a setup for a letdown. Mm. Maybe not. Um, no, it's, it's one of the reasons that I came to Los Angeles. What? What? I, I thought you came to Los Angeles to see us and have a good time. No, I, I did. I okay. did. But the other reason that I came here is to give... Ethan and Gwen some time alone during the last part of her pregnancy. You mean to keep Gwen from worrying about you and Ethan, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's um, always been afraid that I'm just going to, you know, swoop in and steal him from her. Well, Gwen has every reason to worry. I mean, you've done it before, remember? Yeah, but I'm not going to do it again. Because of fate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the reasons I came here. You know, I, I want to give Fate the chance to show everyone that we do belong together. Well, how can Fate do that when Ethan is 3,000 miles away? It doesn't matter, Whit. You know, I really believe that Fate is going to bring us together. Not much. Good, because, honey, this Ooh. hot, dry air, I'm so wiped out. I know. I know you're tired, but hey, before long, you'll be taking a nice, long, wonderful nap. Good. I'm so grateful that Julian is letting us use the crane apartment while we're in L.A., and I really hate staying in a hotel room for more than a night or two. Well, I imagine 
that the specialist you're seeing will tell us to stay here until the baby's born. You know, I really hope that Dr. Abel is as good as our mother seemed to think he is. I'm sure he'll make sure that you can carry the baby to full term. I hope so. But now, all that we have to worry about is ourselves and our baby. There is no Teresa around to cause us any trouble. Let's go. Come on. Something's not right with this. Something's definitely not right. What do you what do you mean? I just can't believe what I'm seeing. just had surgery. You are risking your health being up like this. You just stay in the bed. Dr. Russell, are you not listening? They called a code blue in NICU. I just want to make sure she's okay. You're going to end up in intensive care if you keep doing this. What if she was your baby? Wouldn't you risk anything to be with her? All right, I'll take you to NICU, but in a wheelchair. So you just wait here while I go get one. Okay. Hurry. Oh, please hurry. My baby might need me. Oh, thank God Miguel's with her. Thank God he promised not to leave our baby alone. Come on! Where's the stupid elevator? I don't know, Miguel, but try to be patient. It'll be here. I, I can't, okay? That code blue could have been for my baby. I promised Kay that I wouldn't leave her. Look, you didn't have a choice, Miguel. Dr. Russell made you leave so they could run tests on the baby. Yeah, well, I, I could have stayed close by. You know, I didn't have to go all the way downstairs to get coffee. I shouldn't have left my little girl. Oh, Miguel, don't blame yourself. Please. This is a waste of time. I'm taking the stairs. What kind of nightmare is this? Well, it's not a fairy tale, that's for sure. Oh. Ah, oh, Julian, what color is my baby? What do you mean, what color? What is it? Dark brown, black, red with polka dot spot? Well, it, it is dark brown with spots of black and flecks of red. Oh, my devil, that's incredible. Color, Schmuller, what, what is that thing? Well, thank you not to disparage my child, Rebecca. Julian, give me my baby. I want to hold it. Hold it? Don't you mean cage it? I, I don't think it's wise to touch your little bundle Hand of joy. Hand me the baby! Oh, what on earth is happening?
Like I said, I still don't believe what I'm seeing. Busted, Betty. Luis knows that Sheridan's message is a thing. What's going on? It's showtime. That's what's going on. You and I are gonna make a movie. So, let's see that toothpaste grin. Come on, smile. Or you and your baby will die. How would you know, Mother? You haven't even looked at the TV yet. I'm too nervous. Then how do you know that what Louise is seeing looks amateurish? I was there when you made it, ding dong. What's going on? Wait a minute, that's Sheridan. What's she doing on TV? It's a DVD that was sent from headquarters. No, I still don't believe what I'm seeing. Here it comes. Here it comes. Louise is letting know that Sheridan was kidnapped and that you forced her to make that message on that lame old movie. Look, you better get ready for your close up, or should I say mugshot? Because you're going down, dearie. The end. This can't be the end. He has to find me. He has to save me and my baby. Blue. Is it my baby? Okay, I'm so sorry. Yes, I knew it. They're trying to save her now, sweetie. I gotta get in there with her. No. Okay. No. Okay, we don't want to distract Dr. Andrews. I'll go in and see what's happening. I have to at least see. Can you guys help me stay Oh, sure. sweetheart, careful. Uh, oh, God, save my baby. Please save my baby, please. Come on. Okay. Gotta get to my baby. God, what was that? My beautiful baby. Beautiful baby, what? Just, just who or what are you? I am the proud mother of the most beautiful demon child in the world. Teresa, you're amazing. You really are. When we first asked you to come out here, you said you couldn't because you thought Ethan might leave his pregnant wife for you. And now, now you're saying you came out here to give Gwen peace of mind. That's right. You know, Fox, I have been pregnant, and I know how important it is to keep a positive attitude without being under lots of stress. <laughs> but, Teresa, come on. For you to think that fate is going to bring you and Ethan together when he's 3,000 miles away. All I am saying is, if fate wants Ethan and me to be together, then we will be. Okay, maybe not right now, today, you know, but, yeah, in the future, for sure. Well, you have to give her points for determination, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> laugh, 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 laugh at me. But you know what, Chad? I'm going to tell you. You know, it wasn't too long ago before we thought that the two of you guys weren't going to be together, right? Hmm? And now here you are. You guys are together. You guys are happy. You're in love. You've got your whole lives ahead of you. And, and your parents and Simone, they're not a problem anymore. There's no one out there who wants to come between you guys. And as for Mr. Foxworth Crane over here, I really believe that fate's gonna bring you together with the woman that you love. You know, your Mr. Woman. Now it's your turn. Maybe you're right. 
Maybe fate's at work right now, even as we speak. Oh, I'm sure it is, actually, hmm. yeah. You know? Ah, here we go. Take Ethan and me, for instance, hmm? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> well, you know, for all we know, um, fate could have brought Ethan here, 3,000 miles away to Los Angeles. And he could be, he could be outside that door, like right now, about to walk in. Oh, come on. <laughs> Teresa, come on, that's a little far-fetched, even for you. You can't believe that that really is going to happen, right? I mean, I don't know. When it comes to fate, anything's possible. <sighs> Relax. You are seconds away. From nap time heaven. No noise. And no stresses. And no Teresa. Oh, no. Um, what is I it? I left my purse at the coffee stand. I'm going to get it and meet you and be cute. Okay. Okay. Here. Bye. Oh, I hope the code blue wasn't for Miguel's baby. Please let the baby be okay. Russell, what's going on with my baby? Her blood pressure dropped, and she's developed a fever. Okay, why? Well, it could be an infection. It's common with preemies. Dr. Andrews knows what he's doing. He's going to stay with her till all danger is past. When can I go in and see her? Not now. But what if she well, needs I me? I know and... that you are very anxious, but you've got to be patient. The moment Dr. Andrews says it's okay for you to come and see her, I'll bring you in. Okay. 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 Sweet, I think you should sit down. You're recovering from your C-section. No, Mama, I, I need to see what's going on. Just help me stand, okay? Okay. Mom, what did I do wrong? Why is my baby so sick? Sweetheart, you did not do anything wrong. You know, these things happen sometimes. Your mother's right, Katie. It's not your fault. You know, I... I remember one time when you were a baby. And you were sick with a very high fever. To this day, we don't know why, but your father and I were so, so worried. And we were in emergency, watching the doctors care for you, just like this. And I, I was so afraid, you know, my heart was pounding, I couldn't catch my breath. Because I thought I was gonna lose you, my precious little girl. Mom, I don't want to lose my little girl either. I know, okay. No. So, what do I do? Hey. You pray. You pray that your love and Miguel's love will see this baby through. Oh, thank God Miguel's in there with her. I, uh, I made him promise not to leave. Although I don't know which one he is. All the masks and gowns, they look alike, you know? That's true. I can't tell him from the others. Okay. Oh. Excuse me, can, can you please tell Miguel that I'm not in my room? Miguel's not in there. He's not? He has to be. He promised he would I stay. don't know what happened, but he wasn't in there when the baby coded. Excuse me. Okay. Miguel's not in there? My baby was alone when she took a turn for the worse? No. No, he, pro he promised he would stay. Miguel, where are you? Come on. Oh, gotta get the NICU. Tabitha, I heard what you said. You said that thing is a demon child. Are you sure you weren't abducted by aliens? Never mind that, Julian. Come on, we have to get out of here now. to life. Denizens of the dark side. Come one, come all. Come see my beautiful baby. Oh. 
Oh, what fresh hell is this? Indeed. Okay. We're not in harmony anymore. We are here to meet my bosses, I think. You have yet to prove me wrong. Look, you haven't even seen the DVD yet. I don't need to. I know it looks stupid. I really thought that Sheridan had been kidnapped, but there she is in Paris. What? She looks so beautiful, so relaxed. Sheridan in Paris. She can't believe it. I'm with you, Louise. I don't believe it either. Well, it looks like I was right. Sheridan wasn't kidnapped. She just went to Paris to get some peace. A little rest and relaxation. Well, it sure looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> See, Mother? I thought that I would screw this up. But guess what? Look at them. I fooled them all. Even Louise thinks that Sheridan is in Paris. Oh. Incredible. Well, it's sure a relief to know that Sheridan's in Paris, safe and sound, and not being held prisoner somewhere here in Harmony. What's to become of me? My baby. You have to find us, Louise, please, before it's too late. What did I do with those keys? I hope I didn't pack them. Uh, what if they're in the bag the airline put on the wrong flight? No, 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 don't even think that. Maybe I put it in one of the carry-ons. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out. All right, all right, look, 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 look. We're all laughing or whatever, but... <laughs> but you really think it's possible, right? You really think Ethan's about ready to walk through that door? I know, I know it's a stretch. But, yeah, I'm gonna admit that I do get carried away when it comes to romance sometimes, but yeah. You know, if fate wants us to be together, then Ethan could really be outside that door. Well, Teresa, you have got willpower and then some, okay? I mean, every once in a while, it seems like you actually make things happen. And if you say that Ethan's outside that door, then I believe you. But if he were to walk in here right now, Y'all would be carrying me out on a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. All right, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. You are in for the best nap of your life. Oh, I can't wait. I am so beat. <laughs> oh, sounds like uh, somebody dropped their keys. No. Come on, no way is Ethan out there. No. I don't know, man. I mean, stranger things happen to folks from Harmony all the time. Excuse me, you're blocking my way. Oh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Congratulations, Tabitha. Now, let's have a look at your little demon.
hear what Sheridan said again. Come on, at least you heard what she said. Well, I'm still not convinced the DVD is real. Looks for real. Why do you think it's a fake? Well, something in my gut's telling me Sheridan's in trouble. Well, why don't you just watch it again? And I'm sure that that'll ease your mind. Maybe. I wanted you to see that I'm really all right. That's why I'm sending you this DVD. As you all know, Paris has been a second home to me. And I've missed it. I've had some wonderful times here. Some painful times as well. But I've always loved this city. So that's why when I was feeling stressed and scared that someone was trying to kill me, all I could think of was running away to the place that I love most. I was worried about you, Antonio. About everyone that I love. I know I should have left a note, but I just wasn't thinking. And all I could think about was getting away as fast as I could. And I'm sorry. That's why I sent you the email, to let you know that I was safe. But then I got to thinking that you might still be worried. So that's when I decided to make this DVD. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on. There is nothing down there for you. No, no. How did you do it? I saw you make that DVD. It looked like it was on the set of a cheap porno flick. Oh, yeah. Well, you'd know all about those, wouldn't you, Mother? Hey, those were art films, instructional videos. Yeah, whatever. Look. The point is, the setting that Sheridan's in does not look cheap. It looks like she's in Paris, right down in the pit of my basement. You are evil, Beth. Evil. All is fair in love and war. And in the end, Luis and I and Sheridan's baby will live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. Au revoir, Sheridan. Say la vie. <laughs> Congratulations, Tabitha. I have great expectations for your child. The new spawn of evil. Spawn of evil? As if Teresa wasn't enough to worry about. Woefully inadequate. We were just in Tabitha's living room, and now we're here, wherever here is. I do need a martini. <gasps> Read that too. How could he leave? He promised me that he was going to stay with our baby. Hey, what's going on? Was it our baby that the code blue was for? Yes. And you weren't there for her when she needs you the most, hey, Miguel. How's our baby? Is she okay? No. Thanks to you. I mean, where did you go, Miguel? You promised me that you were going to stay with her. Okay, I I'm sorry. No, where I, I was going to stay. No, where were you, Miguel? You told me that you were going to be in there with her. You knew that I wanted you to okay, be in there I'll with her. Easy, your baby, Miguel. Was yeah. the code for her? Oh. You, you left to be with Charity? You abandoned our baby so that you could be with Charity? Sorry about that. It can be clutch sometimes, can I? <laughs> you, my love, are perfect in every way. And I hope that our baby has all of the qualities that make you so amazingly incredible. And I am hoping the baby's just like you. You are so wonderful. And you, let's say you're loving, you're caring, you are adorable, you are... Pooped. You are pooped. Right, right. <laughs> Okay, let's get in here so you can relax. Okay, 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 this is crazy. All right, Gwen is about ready to have Ethan's baby. The doctors aren't gonna let her just travel this late in her pregnancy, right? Ethan? Well, you are a 
a wicked, wicked girl, Beth. Fooling people into thinking that, that Sheridan is living the high life in Paris when she's downstairs in that grisly old pit in our basement. Mother, shush. Hey, aren't you interested in hearing what Sheridan has to say? Yeah, I am. You bet I am, too. Antonio, Louise, and everyone else who might be watching, please accept my apology for not calling. I hope you at least got the email I sent. I know the way I left must have been cause for concern, and I'm sorry. But I just had to get away from all the tension that I was under without everyone getting worked up about me going away by myself. That and I was worried about the baby, about what all the stress I was under would do to him or her. But the baby's doing fine. I'm under the care of an excellent doctor now. And as soon as I feel strong, and healthy, I will return to harmony. But until that time, I hope that you all understand why I did what I did and respect my wishes to be left alone. I love you all so much. I'll see you soon. Well, this proves exactly what I thought all along. Sheridan wasn't kidnapped. She was just feeling stressed and had to go get some rest and relaxation. What do you think, Louise? Well, isn't it obvious? Hank, after hearing what Sheridan had to say, Louise has to admit that Antonio was right. Sheridan is in Paris, right, Louise? What if Louise thinks I'm in Paris and not in Harmony? Oh, God, what if he stops looking for me? What's gonna happen to me and my baby? Please, Louise, you have to find us. You have to save us so that we can be a family again. It, it can't end like this. It just can't. Something and soon. I mean, this heat is unbearable. We make a run for it. You see that grate? It must lead out of this infernal dungeon. We make our escape through it. Wonderful time, thank you very much, but we really don't want to overstay our welcome. No, it would be very inappropriate for us to intrude on such a touching family gathering. You two aren't going anywhere. I've been waiting for you, Julian. You too, Rebecca. You're in hell now, where you shall remain for all eternity with me. <laughs> Damn it, Charity. Our baby is hanging on to her life by a thread, and all you can think about is getting Miguel away from her so that you can spend time with him. Okay, that's he true. is a father now, all right? He cannot come running to you every time you call him anymore, I, I didn't, Kay, no, all right? Miguel, that's not what happened. you promised me you were going to stay with the baby. You promised me, and then you left her. Kay, look, you don't understand. Charity, I understand perfectly. He has a child, and I am not going to let you try to come between us anymore, okay? Kay, 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 Kay stop. stop. Ethan? Oh. Ethan, I... <sighs> What? Ethan, I... Uh, Gwen! Uh, oh. Gwen! This is ridiculous. Ethan is not about to walk through that door. Yeah, Teresa, come on, I think Whitney's right. I mean, you did have us going for a sec, though. But I, I, I heard 
the key in the door. Didn't you, Chad? I thought so. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe somebody goofed and uh, tried to open up the wrong apartment. Or, or maybe Ethan, he just couldn't get the door unlocked. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. She got to admit, Sheridan wasn't kidnapped. She's in Paris, and she's there to get some rest and relaxation. Hey, man, you were right all along. And <laughs> look, Sheridan's in Paris, and she's doing just fine. I still don't know how you pulled this off. Well, all that matters is that I did. My plan worked perfectly. Now I just have to get Sheridan's baby and pass it off as my own. Louise will never know the difference. Can you believe it, Precious? This sicko plan of best might actually work. Well, you can believe it. Because this is the last time on this DVD that anyone will ever see Sheridan alive. I'm afraid time is running out. If Louis doesn't find me soon, I will never see him again. Please don't let it end this way. Please find me. There's no hope for Sheridan now. She is gonna die. Where are you, Louise? Why can't you find me? I have a strong sense something is wrong with Sheridan. I need an ambulance for my wife. I'm expecting great things from this child.